Hi guys, this is my review of the AMP tool belt. Mine came with suspenders and another pouch. The suspenders are actually pretty comfortable, guys. They really help dissipate the weight, especially when you load it up super heavy and just grab a bunch of wire nuts and everything else. If you're gonna have a tool belt, get suspenders, guys. People might laugh at you, whatever, it doesn't matter. It'll save your back after two or three days. For what I need it, guys, I don't need the electrician's version. This handles all the tools I need. I already have a dead-on tool pouch, so I just slap it on there and call it good. Once in a while, I'll throw the other one on if I just need, only need a few tools. Fits my impact in there, everything fine. These things have lasted through lots of abuse. It's super comfortable, guys. It's really not that bad. Um, you know, it's no gator back or anything like that. Or, you know, if you got a little bit more money, sure, just go ahead and go buy the Klein one. But really, guys, this isn't bad at all. It's got the handles on here. You know, obviously the other one have it. You just grab it and go. For what I need it for, guys, I recommend the AMP. If you want to spend a little extra money, get the Klein one. If you spend a little bit more money, maybe the Gator back and the. There's one of the other guys I knew that had that Nico or Nico one. Dude, those things are really comfortable. Maybe if you got a lot of money, Occidental leather, if leather is your thing, you know. I like the nylon a little bit more. I feel like a breeze and it. Everything else, but the leather is really nice because if you use the same tools all the time, obviously it adapts to those tools really nice and fits in there perfect. But I like the ballistic nylon stuff. Anyways, guys, so I recommend the AMP. I like I said, I wish I had the electrician's version so I could show you guys that setup, but I don't. At the end of the day, guys, it's still made of the same material. It's a great product. I don't hate it for the price of I think I paid fifty five dollars, fifty four dollars for it. It's been great. It really depends on what your guys' budget is. Depends on what you should buy. Do you need a tool belt? Yes. If you're doing resi stuff, you know, you might be able to get away with just a tool apron. I was doing a lot of asking questions on a bunch of different electrical forums. Maybe you guys see me post a few things. But a lot of the times I ask, you know, what's top 10 tools that people should have? You know, a tool belt, one of them. And not going to lie, most of the time, a lot of people just say tool apron if you're a resi guy. So maybe you guys can get away with it. I'm not a resi guy. I don't know. For 60 bucks, guys, it's a solid entry level. If you guys want to, I can do a video on my different multimeters. I have that one. I have this little tiny one my fluke i got another klein one so anyways guys most important part smile it's gonna be wonderful